Uh, good morning, Traven. Good morning. Good morning. Um, the, the defense started strong yesterday. You came out and made at least a couple of nice plays on the first uh, the first 49ers drive. Um, what do you think happened for the defense as the game went on? Um, you know, we just had high energy coming out, um, came out hot, um, made some good plays. Um, went in at halftime, they made some adjustments. Um, they started gassing us. And they had a lot of cutback runs. Um, just a couple of misfits we had. Um, well, you know, we won a division. Got Arizona Monday and looking forward to Arizona now. I, I know the team would have liked to have gone into the playoffs on a winning streak, uh, you know, having established consistency. Uh, that didn't exactly happen. What What gives you confidence that the Rams can find that consistency that it'll need to string playoff victories together? Um, it was a horrifying game, you know. 40, the 49ers are not a bad team. They're a pretty good football team. You know, you can, can't take them for granted. Um, but we did win a division. That's the, the plus side of the of that day. And um, looking forward to Arizona now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Stu. Traven, what, what's the adjustment like when you have to go from Jordan Fuller as, as the on-field defensive signal caller to Jalen Ramsey effectively? I mean, it's still in the secondary, but obviously Jalen lines up all over the place. And I'm sure it's different when somebody close to the line of scrimmage versus somebody like Jordan, who's fuller away, farther away, excuse me. What what adjustments, if any, did that uh, create or cause you guys well, to? There's really no adjustments. You know, it's just a different signal caller. And, you know, Jalen, I don't think he's done it that much in his career, but he can do it. That He is Jalen Ramsey. You know, he can't do it. Just getting a call to us and – um we can echo the call that he gives us, that Raheem gives us, and we can give it to the D-line and we just go, you know? I got you. So from a communication standpoint, not nothing really too different, it uh, sounds like? Nothing too, not too different. Okay. Here. Hi, Trevor. Hey, thanks, for thanks for joining us. Um, so you seem like, you know, you put that game behind you pretty quickly. And I know you guys have to do that every week. So is it is that is it as simple as that? It's just like turn to the playoffs. Doesn't matter what happened. You have to. You have to. It is what it is. Um, we're playing the Arizona Cardinals. Um, fourth seed, their fifth seed. That this we got to worry about them. That game is behind us. Um, if we see them again, we'll see them again. But worry about the Arizona Cardinals. For you, uh, as an inside linebacker, you know. Um, with Zach Ertz, with their receivers, you know, the running backs, they, they can have a pretty formidable offense along with Kyler Murray. What's the biggest challenge for you as, a, you know, the position you're playing with that offense? Um, I just got to do my assignment. Um, handle my business, do what the plays call, you know. Um, I don't think it's too big for me. We, we play them twice. We've played them twice this year. We play them twice every year. Uh, we're familiar with the Arizona Cardinals, and we're just going to do what we do. And how would you know? I'm assuming you guys have met already as a team on, on some level. Um, how would you describe kind of the mood of, of the players as, as you guys gathered here, you know, less than 24 hours after that loss? Um, it was kind of bittersweet yesterday. You know, we did uh, win a division, but we did end the day with a loss. But like I said, we got to put that behind us. We're in, it's playoff time. Have to lock in and take it one game at a time. Thank you. All right, that's it. That's all for today. Thanks. Thank you.